I've also been told it's going to be a pile of rubble, which um, I have to say I'm probably erring towards. Um, if it is a pile of grave soil, it's been adding to a mound that's already here, because prior to 1840 it was in someone's back garden as opposed to the churchyard. And um, we've been taking the mound down in sort of a, a, a series of steps so we can sort of dig to a, a fairly decent depth and still be safe. Top step, there's a big pile of stones, some really quite big stones. And I was thinking, fantastic, the, the rubble theory, dissolution, demolition, great, you know, medieval demolition rubble. Unfortunately, we've got a 1920s glass bottle from um, 80 centimetres down at the top. So it's looking like the idea of it being a mound of demolition rubble from the dissolution. It may not be the most sort of romantic or exciting story, but it's looking like it could be the accurate one. One of the things I was expecting in this trench with my um, east-west walls across there was a north-south wall at the other end of the trench. And lo and behold, there's actually a north-south wall up there. So it's what we're possibly thinking we've got now, my north-south wall over there, is looking like it could be part of the south transept of the abbey, which then pushes the chapter house just to where we're sort of standing over there. And that there's a possibility that this wall could actually form the west wall of the infirmary building, which we were looking for over in that trench there, but didn't quite find. So then where was our outer transept wall? And in the corner, just at the bottom end of the trench where it's fenced off, where it goes just that little bit deeper, we've got what we call a rubber trench. So pretty much they've taken all the good stone and just piled in all the rubble and the rubbish that they didn't want. And we came across these odd stones in the top here. That, um, they almost look like concrete, but it's, um, it's iron panning. So we've got a nice wall running through here, which gives us a fantastic distance for the Cloister Alley, decent width. And we're even more chuffed to find we've actually got a mortar surface in there and just on the edge of the trench, just teasing me, there's a medieval floor tile sticking out that's actually bedded on the mortar floor. Well, the, the late, when we first uncovered this area, uh, what we initially came down to was a layer of destruction. Uh, destruction debris from buildings, which was just uh, tiles, uh, rubble, uh, mortar, and lots and lots of pottery all mixed in together and that was just generally spread certainly over this area and over the top over here as well. We found lots of bits of nails and things, we found, found some possible sleeper beams and things going on. So I think we've got a timber, uh, certainly perhaps a timber phase in the 17th century and uh, it's a stop press thing. Uh, we seem to be getting some more stonework. We're not sure what they are yet. These may relate to an earlier phase of activity may relate to the medieval uh, building that may be here. Um, so we're going to just have to clean these up, get them planned, and hopefully we'll uh, find out what's going on. We've got one week left to sort it all out. <laughs>